Welcome to I Love to Tell the Story, a podcast of the Narrative Lectionary. I'm Katherine Schifferdecker. And I'm Joy J. Moore. This is the podcast for Sunday, April 14th, 2024. It is uh, the third Sunday of Easter, and our text is the third chapter of Acts. We're reading verses 1 through 10. And in some ways, we slowed the story down a bit this week. Um, we're returning to the record of Acts, uh, the Acts of the Apostles, and here we are pausing on the story of uh, Peter and John, a healing uh, by Peter and John. And um, I, I love this, uh, this uh, line that I learned as a song, and my voice isn't full uh, for me to be able to sing uh, uh, yet this week, but uh, the 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 line, the way that the song interprets it is um, when when the man is begging for what it is that Peter and John would give them, uh, they respond with "Such as I have, give I thee." I think the words are "Silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee." And I, I don't know, I, I just wonder as we look at this text, um, as we're reading it, if, if we might look at it in terms of what is it that because of the resurrection of Jesus, we have to offer the world? Yeah, that's a, that's a great uh, kind of hook, uh, a way of, of getting at the sermon. Mm. Uh, this is just a logistical thing for uh, those of, I'm sure our listeners already know this, but uh, we're skipping over chapter two here, uh, the story of, of the first Pentecost uh, or the birth of the church, uh, because we'll come back to it at Pentecost. So have no concern, have no worries. We, we haven't not. lost that. We have not lost yeah, that. We've, we, haven't, we haven't skipped over one of the major festivals of the church. Yeah, so this, ha- but just to put this in context, right, it is after that miraculous uh, uh, Mass conversion uh, of Pentecost and the speaking uh, in in tongues uh, and the you know the rush of the mighty wind, the Holy Spirit coming upon the disciples with tongues of fire. Uh, so so in this newfound power of the Holy Spirit, uh, the the Spirit of Christ, um, uh, Peter and John uh, heal as Jesus healed, uh, and. Uh, and so here's again where we see, we talked about this last week a bit, but here's where we see again the life of Christ, the life of Jesus continuing in his disciples, Thanks. continuing in those first those first uh, uh, followers uh, of him. And what, uh, you know, what a contrast to what we saw of them at the end of Mark or the end yes. of any of yes. the gospels, right? Here's Peter, brash Peter, right, mm-hmm. who was doing everything, uh, not everything, but doing a lot of things wrong and finally denies Jesus. Here's Peter um, healing and uh, and speaking with power and, um, yeah, and do, doing, uh, as just as Jesus promised, doing uh, healing, uh, doing things. what Jesus did. Yeah, greater things uh, you'll do, yeah. But yeah, I, I agree, uh, Joy, I love that line. I have no silver or gold, but what I have I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth, stand up and walk. Uh, and and then I also love this. Uh, jumping up, he stood and began to walk, and he <laughs> entered the temple with them, wa- walking and leaping, leaping and praising God. <laughs> I love that. Yes, yes. I, uh, you know, in my little that image, little Lutheran church, uh, I don't see people leaping uh, too often, <laughs> but there's just such joy in this uh, that yes. is, is really beautiful, and we see. Right, the 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 life of the resurrection, the resurrection life, life. right that that inhabits um, that first Easter uh, right uh, story, right. and then in Pentecost uh, now begins that journey out to uh, to heal and to give life uh, and to give joy to uh, to those who are in need. Well, these are. This is one of those surprising acts of the Holy Spirit you talked about last week. In the in the yeah, sense yeah. that you know, the lame, um, the diseased, the sick. This is for them too. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. You know, yeah. um, not not just giving them a little silver and gold, but the fullness of what um, what salvation is. And in this account. 
uh, undermines the idea that that salvation is some spiritual meditation or spiritual quest um, yeah. or, or heaven when we die. This man was recognized as that guy who had been lame and lying on the ground. He's now leaping, as you said, praising. Th- th- and I love this. He's praising not Peter and John. He's praising God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and when our ministries are noteworthy and, and successful, whose name is shouted out? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Are we inviting our listeners to marvel at the active presence of the Spirit of God among us? Mm. That's a whole lot bigger than going to the country club down the street once a week, which has a great program for my kids. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah. 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 You know, I had never noticed this detail before, but I also, I also really like uh, verses four and five. So, starting at verse three, when he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for alms. Peter looked intently at him, as did John, and said, "Look at us." And he fixed his attention on them, expecting to receive something from them. But then, and then Peter says, "I have no silver or gold, but what I have, I give you, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stand up and walk." That. That kind of like this man is doing what he's done every day, or at least every week, f- for as long as he can remember. Uh, he's he's uh, lame from birth. It says right. He he doesn't know any other way of life, and so he's kind of just the normal, you know, ple- right, holding out his cup or whatever. I don't know how people ask for alms then. And Peter and John say. Draw his attention, right? Look at us, and then he sees them, and then, and then they're able to to perform this uh, act of healing or to be the the vessels through Vessel. which God heals him. I just think that that I don't know what to make of that exactly, but I I I think it's that surprise again, right? Like that. Um, it's an ordinary day. I'm going to ask for alms. I'm going to lie here in front of the temple. Blah blah blah. And then this, this, you know, this, these two men call his attention. Like, look I, at us. Oh, I Go love ahead. this. I, no, I love this image that you're doing, uh, Catherine, because you're slowing it down. Which, which is what yeah. I referenced as we open. You're, you're slowing it down. It's, you know, it. Your raising this makes me think of, you know, we get to the point where we see someone on the street, a homeless person, and we don't see them. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And 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 I've 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 actually asked God not to let me get to the point where I can't see a human being in need in front of me, no matter mm-hmm. where I live or how often I see them. Mm-hmm. But your account of this, it's making me think. After they've been walked past or or spit on or you know just not seen, how many times did they not see? Mm, mm. I, I, you, you're pausing that way caused me to flip it and to see from his perspective you know this isn't just another day for you guy Peter yeah. and John are like dude stop you don't just hang out your cup look look at us yeah because something yeah. is about to happen to you yeah. I yeah, yeah, I yeah. love that perspective I I thanks for for bringing that up I think preacher, preachers can work with that yeah, I think so too. That and it's a it's a dual thing. Like I, I I really appreciate where you took that because it is so easy to overlook, right? You're you're sitting at the stoplight. There's a guy or a woman, whatever, over here with a cardboard sign, and you you know uh, uh, avoid eye contact, right? Because mm-hmm. that you don't want them to come over, and that's it's just uh it's just a dehumanizing kind of that's what reaction, it is, right? And so it, you know, it goes both ways. So, so yes, recognize, I, lo- I love your prayer, right? Help me never, help me always to recognize that human being there, right? That's to right. stop, stop, look at me. <laughs> yeah, I see, I see a child of God there, mm-hmm. right? And mm-hmm. then vice versa, no, stop and look, right? Recognizing the humanity of each other, recognizing... Each other. Yeah. Recognizing the face of God in each other's faces uh, is what we're called to do, uh, yeah. and not just for people down and out and begging for money, but uh, people we disagree with. 
people yeah. in our family we disagree yes. with, people in our church we disagree with, right? Recon- stop, stop, and look, look at me. And, and sometimes, sometimes it is that homeless person, that person on the street. And the, and the reason I say that is um, a few years ago when I was, uh, when I was uh, living in California, I, um, I went to, okay, so I'll confess this. About once every year I go to KFC because I really <laughs> like KFC. I shouldn't eat it and I eat too much when I go there, but I have to do it. And so I was, I was, I was literally getting ready to go to church. And uh, uh-huh. I stopped, I went, went to KFC. And when I went in, I saw a guy going through the garbage can. Mm. And I was like, okay, you're going to drop a couple of dollars. You might as well drop a couple of extra dollars. So I bought a meal. I bought what I was going to buy for me. And then I bought a meal for him. And um, I came out and I offered it to him. And he looked at me like, are you serious? And I said, yeah, it's just whatever I had gotten him. But he was thrilled. And then I had gotten a big tea. And I said, would you like the tea? And he looked at me because I'd only bought one because I don't usually get tea. I drink coffee. And he was like, are you kidding me? And I'm like, isn't that what you do all the time? Don't people, you know, drop this? But but he was It was like, nope, I'm supposed to get it out of the garbage can if I don't find anything. And it was just amazing to me. And and I remember that having said, you know, sometimes they might not see us either. He did not expect. Yeah. Yeah. And he he almost leaped for joy. And uh, there is a way that we can almost get a glimpse of just what it meant for this man, lame for life, who'd been lying there with this normal routine of seeking alms from the strangers that walk by to be told, now look, because you're about to receive a gift from God.